This is a cross section of the ureter taken at low power. Um, we are interested in the ureter because the ureter is lined by transitional epithelium. In this slide, you can see a star shaped lumen. The tissue surrounding the lumen is transitional epithelium. On low power, you can't see too much. We are about to go to high power. We're now looking at transitional epithelium on high power. The tip of the pointer is in the lumen of the uh, trans transsectional cut through the ureter. Um, if you'll note, transitional epithelium is actually stratified. There are uh, many layers of cells. This would be about where the basement lamina is. From here to the lumen is the transitional epithelium. However, all transitional epithelium is stratified, so we can just simply call it transitional epithelium. Um, the most superficial cells are the ones that tip us off that it is transitional. The cells actually have a domed apical surface. Um, that's how you can tell it's transitional. It's called transitional because over the course of the day or time, um, the shape of the cell actually changes. When the ureter does not have a urine stream passing through it, the domes are present. When urine is coursing through it, the lumen enlarges, and these uh, cells on the uh, superficial layer of the transitional epithelium actually stretch out and become flatter. Um, there is, in addition to uh, the transitional epithelium that we're seeing here, there is a mucus layer um, lying on top of those cells or between the transitional epithelium and the lumen. It is a homogeneous layer. Um, you don't see nuclei in it um, or cell boundaries. Um, the, it is uh, just simply a layer of mucus. The tip of the pointer now is pointing to that homogeneous layer um, of mucus.